It's box day. You know what that means? That means that we're gonna go through some boxes. That's all that means. So, <laughs> pull out a box that I haven't gone through, because boxes I haven't gone through are labeled unsorted. I'm gonna bring those out here, and we're gonna put those on this vintage, lovely green metal folding table thing. I'm gonna strap up using the chesty, and uh, that way, first hand experience. So let's do that. And here we are. Imagine that. So this is our first box. It's not labeled at all. So I'm hoping it's not one I packed because I was lazy and I didn't pack things. So let's take a peek. We got some shoes. Back here I've got boxes ready to go for packing different things. This one is for eBay and or to take in, uh, to the consignment store. I gotta take all the consignment stuff to the house so I can label it tonight. And uh, yeah, that's cool. It's probably worth 30, 40 bucks. It's missing a bit, so I think that's what that's called. Maybe 20, 25 bucks. That's an eBay item. Some old reel to reels, some old music. Some right there for now, this will go. This tape is probably broke. Yeah, just some tools. That's acid corroded from the batteries, but the tools are still good. Someone might pay a dollar for it. So it's gonna go into the dollar sale. This, this is just scrap. No one's gonna buy this. So this goes in the scrap wire. Some places take it, some places don't because it's the old foam cord. And the wires inside are super low. This is, this is a dollar. These are cool, I might use these for organizing. We have a lot of seashells that I've gotta do some tools. This is missing the adapter for that, so unless that turns up, this is gonna be useless. No, it's probably already. It's just the batteries are acid corroded in there. That's one thing I don't have is a trash box. I guess I can use this box for a trash box. Use that. Tools. Chips knife. I have a lot of utensils and silverware stuff over here. Utensils. More utensils. Believe it or not, when I first got started in this business and I was running a flea market booth every weekend, I made a lot of money off utensils. And I got those utensils out of Goodwill's dumpster because, well, Goodwill doesn't keep anything good. They just keep all the crap. So, this is just scrap metal. I throw it in my steel pile. This is pottery tools. Just put that there. This is a wooden letter opener. Tools. Some of these old uh, oil paints can be valuable. Just not these. These are uh, these. These are, these are some better tools. This is a vintage box. Someone might pay a dollar for it. You never know. This thing, speedball. Tools. Quilt stuff, it looks like. Time started a quilt. Or something, you never know. I don't know much about quilts, so I know I got a, a few of them, so I've got to do some research. Goosebumps. Man, I remember when I was a kid, I wanted these books so bad, but reading just wasn't on my agenda back then. I don't know. I don't know why. 
This will go in the kids' box. Moby Dick. That looks pretty cool. It's a ruler. Not a ruler, a bookmark. Here's a ruler. I need another ruler at the house. Oh, look, another ruler. I could have three at the house. But I'm not going to do that. 1987. Man. Year before I was born. So I was born on June 5th, 1988. And it was a Sunday. Some of these calendars have a little value. Um, I don't know how to specify or figure out which ones do. You just gotta look them up and see if they pop up. Ooh, old pencils. I've seen old pencils, like lots on eBay. I've seen old pencils go for hundreds. So, just depends on the right pencils. I don't know if this is, you know, right pencils or not, but save them all up, put them in a separate pile. Boom, there you go. So I throw all, all the stuff like this, I put it all in one pile, and then I'll put them in Ziploc bags, and I'll put like dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever needs to be on there. I'll put that on there. Some paintings. Um, I don't know what kind of material this is, a plastic, and then canvas. Maybe it's all canvas, I don't know. Looks like a... Uh, you know what I think this is? I think this is Mount Hood and Mount St. Helen in Washington before Mount St. Helen erupted in the 80s because this is signed 78. I bet you that's what this is. That's cool. Man, that's pretty cool. I guess if you're, you got to be from the area to know what I'm talking about, I guess. I'm not from there either. I was just spending quite a bit of time there over the last 18 months. What's this? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, interesting. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how I look things up. Let's see. This item right here. So we got K O H dash. Is that an L or an I? It's all capitalized, so it's an I dash R. So that one was a complete set. This is nowhere near complete, but let me try looking up one of the individual pins. This might be worthy of a uh, right there for now. You see the original price set of four 
4275. So that's uh that's pretty crazy. I'll put that in the eBay box. So what else we got found in here? I don't have a pile for like hardware yet, so oh look more pencils. Oh look, lots of pencils. And paint brushes and all sorts of things. With these old fountain pens, you gotta always check the tips because some of them are gold. This one is not. Or they can be gold plated, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've dealt with fountain pens. to find that one that's missing from that other box. Maybe this one. See, I have no way of knowing what this, something like this is. So, in this situation, because we have all the boxes inside, this might go to something, but doubtful. But I'll set it aside till later. More hardware. More hardware. There's this foam brush. Could have four rulers at home, guys. Look at that. We're starting a ruler collection. You know what we can do with all these rulers? I'll tell you what we can do with all these rulers. We could rule the world. One palm slap at a time. Yeah. Anyway. Did I scare you, Simon? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here. Come on. It's okay. Come here. I scared him, guys. Come here, Simon. No, okay. I'll leave you alone. Let's get back to it. Obviously not going to have anything in it for uh, for Trader Bucks, so I think I'm going to pack it back up, move on to the next box.